Hi guys, welcome to T-Shoot Labs. This is Pratik. Today we are going to go through the packet flow of uh, how an ESA processes the packet. So before we proceed, uh, there are two, uh, two things that I would like to go. First, uh, there have been two major versions uh, for which we would be discussing the packet flow. The first one was uh, 8.2 and previous codes and the other one was uh, 8.3 the onward codes that we see today in the environment. So to begin with, let's go ahead and uh, start with the packet flow for ESA 8.2 and previous codes. Uh, if you look closely at the diagram, you would see uh, this uh, type of flow. This is just a flow chart that uh, you can see. There is also a document available on Google for ESA 8.2 packet flow. So to begin with, uh, let's see this first. So this uh, diagram depicts an ASA firewall and uh, this is the uh, inside interface of the ASA. This is the outside interface of the ASA and this is the DMZ interface of the ASA. So let's suppose there is a machine on the inside network and uh, there's a server on the DMZ network. So this machine wants to communicate with the uh, server on the DMZ network. Let's suppose this is a web server uh, which you need to access on port uh, 443. And uh, this is your client machine. So this is a client to server module. Uh, model. Let's suppose the machine's IP address is 192.168.10.5 uh, and the server's IP address is 172.16.10.5 five so the packet flow through the ASA uh, if, if we consider the packet the packet would uh, look somewhat like the source would be this and uh, it would choose a random port let's suppose uh, 65535 and the destination IP address would be this one 172.16.5 and the port number would be 443 So the ingress interface for the packet would be this in, inside interface and the egress interface uh, for the packet would be the DMZ interface on the ESA. So what exactly happens when the packet reaches on the inside interface? Let's go back to the flow chart. So we receive the packet uh, on the ingress interface which was our inside interface. And once the ESA receives the packet on the inside interface, uh, the packet reaches the internal buffer of the interface and as soon as the packet reaches the internal buffer of the uh, interface the counter is incremented by one now Cisco ASA looks at the connection table and checks if uh, the packet that it is receiving is uh, an existing connection or uh, is it a new connection if it's an existing connection then the packet is uh, sent directly. Uh, the ACL check and the NAT uh, check is bypassed. But if it's a new connection, the ACL check is performed. Now, when I talk about the ACL uh, check, this is interface ACL. So any AC, uh, uh, ACL that would be on the inside interface of the ASA, that would be checked. And if the packet is allowed through the inside interface, then the packet would be forwarded to uh, check the NAT uh, statements but if it's uh, not allowed on the uh, ACL on the inside interface then the packet is dropped so if the packet is allowed the packet is forwarded and uh, it, it reaches the exilate check or the NAT check part so packet is verified for the translation rules on the exit. If a packet passes through this check, then a connection entry is created for this flow. If you remember uh, in the beginning I said if it's an existing connection, then the uh, ACL check and NAT check is bypassed. But if it's not, then uh, the ACL check is performed and then the NAT check is performed. If the there is an exit entry, the connection entry is created for this particular packet that was received on the inside interface of the 
ASA or the ingress interface of the ASA. But if the exhalate is match is not found, then the packet is dropped. Once the packet passes through the exhalate check, it's sent for uh, stateful inspection. Now, uh, ASA has its own, uh, you know, inspection engine, uh, which inspects the packet on a five tuple base. Uh, when we talk about five tuple, it's uh, source address, destination address, source port, destination port, and the protocol that is being used. So the protocol that is being used over here is TCP. And uh, there are already uh, default uh, inspection rules that are applied uh, by default on the ESA on a fresh ASA as well, a totally fresh configuration. So if the packet passes through the stateful inspection, it is forwarded to the NAT uh, uh, IP header or the NAT translation. If it's not, then the packet is dropped. Now, once it passes through the stateful inspection, uh, uh, also I am, I'm leaving these CSC modules and everything because CSC module is no longer used in ASA nowadays. If someone has it in their old environment, then it's perfectly fine, but it's not being used now. Uh, so the CSC module is basically content security check module, uh, which checks the packet. Now, when the stateful inspection is passed, NAT is performed on the traffic. Now, if there is a NAT statement, uh, which uh, requires either the source or the destination to be NATed, then the packet uh, would be NATed or the source and the destination would be NATed. And based on that, the ESA would try to find out the egress interface for the ESA. Now, if there is an IPS module, then the IPS module will check uh, the packet further uh, for inspection, deep packet inspection. Once it reaches the uh, egress interface, basically the egress interface would be de uh, decided. Uh, just like in our case, the packet has to exit the DMZ. So once the uh, egress interface is found, it's uh, checked for L3 route. If the egress interface is not found, then the packet is dropped. Now, once uh, the packet is forwarded for uh, L3 route, the ASA looks where exactly the packet has to be sent and uh, from where exactly it has to send it. Uh, by looking at the route table, it sends the packet uh, for layer two address resolution. If it does not found the uh, route or there is some, uh, you know, uh, uh, no adjacency is found for the particular traffic, then the packet is dropped. Now, once the packet reaches this stage, uh, address resolution is performed for the destination uh, IP address layer two address has to be determined. And once the layer two address is, dis, uh, is determined, the packet exits through the egress interface, which is DMZ in our case right now. But if address resolution fails due to X, Y, Z reason, then the packet would be dropped. So it is quite simple when we talk about the uh, packet flow through ASA 8.2 or previous codes, or if you talk about 8.3 and previous uh, newer codes. So what is the exact difference between the old code packet flow and the new code packet flow? This is for the 8.2 and previous codes. If you look closely over here, this is another diagram. This is for uh, 8.3 and newer codes. Everything is same except a few things. And I would like to highlight those things over here. This particular check if you check it or uh, see it clearly you would see that the ACL check was uh, done first in 8.2 and previous codes but now in 8.3 and newer codes you would see that the natural determination is done first and then ACL check is performed and instead of CSC modules you would see a uh, firepower or a next generation firewall module uh, for uh, along with the stateful, uh, stateful inspection and if someone is still using a legacy IP, uh, IPS module, then uh, that is still involved. But apart from that, everything remains as it is. There is no difference between the packet flow apart from this one. So in 8.2 and previous codes, ACL is checked first and then NAT is checked. In 8.3 and newer codes, the NAT is checked first and then ACL check is performed. So with this, uh, that's all for the packet flow part. If in case you guys have any queries, please uh, mention them in the comments section below. And uh, do let me know uh, 
uh, if you like these videos and if, if you have something in mind that you would like to learn from the uh, security perspective, please uh, feel free to put in your, uh, in your comments and also please provide some feedback regarding the videos that you're seeing. So thank you so much uh, guys for your time and patience. You have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.